Frank 107.5, we are Maine's classic hit station. Good morning, Frank Nation. It's Heidi and Stan and Rick. We are talking with the first ladies' man this morning. Hey there, how y'all doing this morning? Great G- to be with you. We're grateful to have you. Now, can I call you Andy or should I call you Andrew? What's better? You call me Andy, Andrew. You call me the first ladies' man, FLM, whatever you like. I'm oh. just a happy guy on the radio with you two. All right, let's 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 call you the first ladies' man. Now, first of all, <laughs> for, for anybody who's never heard that, tell them what it is. Okay, I'm the first ladies' man because for the C-SPAN series, First Lady's Influence and Image, I traveled to nearly every home, library, museum, school, church, cemetery, birthplace, train station, plantation farm for every First Lady, Martha Washington through Michelle Obama. By the end of the series, I did all the travel in a year and two months, and I pop out the back end kind of like a rain man of First Lady. So <laughs> this is awesome. Doing. So this guy is the expert. Yes, and because it's November, because it's a political year that big things are going to be happening i figured it might be appropriate to get a new spin on something presidential i mean here's the thing it's no secret that it is an unusual presidential cycle a lot of things could have happened in a lot of different ways even with the candidates in the primary we're looking at the first potential first gentleman the first potential first gentleman who's a former president that takes most people by surprise everyone asks me what are we going to call bill clinton well we're going to call him president clinton until we invent a higher title and he wins it, he's president. You keep your highest title. So if Hillary Clinton wins in November, she is Madam President and he's still Mr. President. We could have in Melania Trump the second only foreign-born first lady. That also could have happened if uh, Jeb Bush had gone further. A lot, a lot of really unusual things could have uh, happened and, and will happen in this election cycle. What? Ha- wait, stop right there. Who is our first first lady that was not born in America? First foreign-born first lady was Louisa Catherine Adams. John Quincy Adams' wife was born in London in 1775. She had ties to the state in that her father was in the colonies in the 1700s. Her uncle actually was the first governor of Maryland, where I'm from. But growing up, and that's kind of the whole point of my speech and my book, you can find everything at firstladiesman.com. But why I'm going out and doing this is that I was raised in and around Washington. So many things that these women do and did and continue to do that influence our everyday life. I grew up around Washington, D.C., had no idea that Helen Taft planted the first cherry blossom tree, which is a big deal in Washington. People come from around the world. We don't know a lot about these women. We know who they are. We know what the first lady is, a title we all conjure an image when you say first lady. Significant women that had huge influence and impact on our country are not known to most people. I'm looking at your website, firstladiesman.com. I would have to say you are probably, in the country, the leading authority on the first ladies. And you are actually coming to Maine. I'm going to be at the governor's house, 2 p.m. speech. It's open to the public. It's put on by Friends of the State Library. That'll be the 1st of November, and everyone's welcome. So uh, come on out and hang out with me. It's a fun time. It's more of a, I hesitate to even call it a speech. It's kind of like what we're doing now. It's a conversation. I start talking about First Ladies. I tell you some things that amaze you. I tell you things about First Ladies that you thought you knew. I tell you things about First Ladies that you didn't know. Tuesday, November 1st. 2 o'clock. Now, this event is going to be free for the Friends of Maine State Library. It's a suggested $15 donation for non-members. And when you make a donation, this is what allows events like Andrew coming to Maine to continue. We're talking to Andrew Oak. He is the first ladies' man. When you come up to Maine, Andy, do you think you could swing by the studio and talk to us, maybe? Absolutely. Let's do it. I'll bring some books. I'll bring some t-shirts. We'll take some calls. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun. We'd love to come in there and hang out with you guys. We'd love to have you in. Let's make it happen. All right. We'll see you next week then. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.